Hey everyone, oh way. Let's turn that down a bit. Welcome back everyone to another Rocket League. Um, this is a snow day matchmaking where hockey is life. And we are now gonna play some Rocket Hockey League. Ah! Okay, okay, where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. I completely, yeah. <laughs> nope. Just nope. All kinds of nope today. Um, I, this kind of popped up the other day and I've been kind of practicing on it just a tad bit. Um, playing on maps too, but, uh, this is replacing the soccer ball with the, um, puck. And, basically upping the bounce basically they say bounce is low but it's like um, it's really bouncy basically and so yeah this is going extremely well at the moment <laughs> um, I was talking with a couple other youtubers today as well um, they posted a video about uh, Pokemon, what would be your top six? Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to do a top six because really a versatile team uh, has roughly eight if you really want to. Um, but they're like, I think the stipulation was like six Pokemon. Uh, one could be a starter, and then your seventh Pokemon could be like a legendary. Uh, which puts me at Rayquaza right away, so I love that guy so much. Uh, but. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, so, uh, obviously, I. The guy I was talking to him in the chat, like, okay, what's gonna be your like uh, top six or whatever? So my top six, uh, Typhlosion is the first one, uh, just because that they're um, Typhlosion's that weird. It's one of the few strictly fire type Pokemon in the game. And you can make an argument, Charizard was strictly fire for a while as well. Yeah, but when they redid the mechanics and gave him a flying typing, he he's not strictly fire anymore. Uh, so when you make that argument, he's Typhlosion is only strict fire type, and I kind of just wanted one that would be just solely fire, because uh, you're starting to run into other issues with. Uh, multiple typing, and if you can kind of keep it consistent, it can more consistent the better in some aspects. So, Typhlosion was number one. Uh, what do I have in number two? Oh, uh, Luxray. My favorite, uh, Uh, Pokemon for two reasons. Um, he is very unique to the game. Uh, as far as they don't, they don't really play off of him and like Electrite more because they're dog and cat. And I really think that could have been a very interesting thing with that. Uh, but I really like the design as well of Luxray. Uh, as well as uh, he is one of the few pure fighting type not fighting type uh, physical electric attackers there we go words today in the game and that's kind of an interesting fact because a lot of electric Pokemon are special like special their specials are more higher than their uh, basic attack Luxury is kind of the opposite he has but equal uh, physical attack as well as special attack and that makes for some interesting combinations with things like I believe wild charge is one of them as well as he also has the ability to learn superpower 
Which is a very interesting thing because that's a very, really good fighting move. Uh, typically reserved for a lot of fighting Pokemon. And I get around a lot of issues with Pokemon as far as like going up against rock and left, uh, ground types by having superpower. Uh, doesn't solve everything. Of course, if the Pokemon's faster, um, I'm still gonna get the short end of the stick there. But. He's very interesting in that aspect. There we go, and hop it down. Another thing, uh, third, uh, I'm trying to remember. I have Luxray. No, Luxray, um. Uh, not Luxray, uh, Lucario. There we go, Lucario's the third one. Um, despite its kind of bad typing. Oh, come on. It's uh, bad typings. Not fighting steel is not the best typing. I, I've seen better, but his versatility is very good, and his mega is actually really not that bad. So when you look at it from that aspect, yeah, I I, I run a steel gym as well, and uh, uh, Pokemon League in Iowa here. And I know I get a ton of challengers, but uh, ever since I started doing a pure steel type gym, uh, the Leaf Four and one of them's a Water type has a hell of a time actually battling me. Uh, usually, I can knock off like three of his Pokemon at least. Again, he's in Leaf Four. I'm a gym leader, so so there's definitely reasons why he's better to me in a lot of aspects. But, it adds a lot of interesting uh, uh, aspects to him. And he's just kind of one of those Pokemon that, he's one of the later generation Pokemon that everyone kind of seems to love. And I, I think that's very interesting indeed. So, there's Lucario, um, Lucario Luxray, uh, Typhlosion, uh, what do I have my next typing? Lapras. Uh, Lapras is kind of nice, just purely in the fact that, uh, while it's a water type, it does know ice moves and electric and a thunderbolt, so it does kind of... have some unique uh, abilities that a lot of other water types don't have. And Ice Beam is really good on it. Let's be honest here. Ah! Come on, I could save that. Uh, which helps with the dragons. Uh, it, it's kind of one of those things in the game I really wish it would better the stats and ice types they're not very good typically ice gets stacked in with water which makes it weak to electricity uh, it's already weak to fire you know it does you know so water and ice I mean it balances out but it's still not a great combination and there's just kind of other things you can kind of do with the Pokemons and there's almost no pure pure ice anymore it's I think Articuno and like Jinx are like the two that I know of that are pure ice, I believe. Ah! Shots on goal. So, Lapras is very unique. Um, I originally said Gengar. And. I originally is, you know, a lot of people were making an argument, what's, is there really a better ghost type? Is, is, is there truly a better ghost type? Uh, cause you look at the other ones available, uh, Frost Glass, or Fro Glass, whatever its name is, uh, could be a, 
a good valid choice. Uh, but I would almost go to Chandelure. And it, it's unique in a lot of ways that it's a fire and ghost. Um, so Will O Wisp makes a lot of sense to that Pokemon, even though technically Will O Wisp is a ghost move. But it's a, the burn ability is kind of unique. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can make arguments for, but I originally said Gengar, I, I would switch it to Chandler just because. And my last one... I don't know if I ever picked a dragon or not. Oh... Oh, you know what? I remember picking a dragon, but what was it? Uh, I think Trantar, maybe? No, that wasn't it. What was my dragon I was thinking of? Uh, oh no, Ag... Well, Agron... Eh. I really don't know. This, ooh, nice shot. Oh, God, I'm trying to remember now what my conversation was. Da, 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 da. I'll remember later, but I... Uh, I know Rayquaza was my legendary for sure. Oh, um, flying type. There we go. Derp. It wasn't a dragon at all. Skarmory. Very unique typing. <laughs> Very unique. Um, it's the only steel bird, uh, which is very unique. Um, runs into issue with rock really bad. Rock typing. Uh, so it runs into that bit of an issue. But electricity kind of gets balanced out there, which is, which is good, really good. Uh, gets a fire weakness, but uh, it's kind of nice to use fly in combination with like things like steel wing uh, to really kind of make a very unique Pokemon. Turn around here. And I got nowhere on that. Where to go? Where to go? Eh. I think I'm just kind of gonna hang back. And I got blasted in the ass. And I'm on the ceiling. Ah, there we go. So Skarmory, it, it's it's more just about its uniqueness and its typing and the fact that it is a steel type. Uh, dang it. Uh, if I had to do like an a 7th and 8th uh, Pokemon. Uh, Trantar being there is a ground. I think it's considered ground dark, but it's got a lot of dragon moves to go with it. I'll look it up. I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, Shark Fin Topper. Fuck yeah. Um, as well as uh, Dragalge. Which is not a widely used Pokemon from what I've noticed. It, it's used somewhat, but it's not a lot. And it's a very unique... It's one of the few poison Pokemon I've really come to like. Crobat's another one I kind of like as far as poison typing. So, there is that. I love checking out my time because I have no way of looking. Oh, I am at like 14, 15 minutes. So, I will call that an episode, folks. Uh... I will do the next episode on, oops, hold on, leave match, there we go, <laughs> um, I will do the next episode on that 4-4 four four format, because um, that is really quite interesting, so, and maybe I'll get the Batman DLC.
That's got coming up March eighth. We'll see. Till next time, everyone. Keep on gaming. Keep on having fun. And let's play. Yeah.